Hello everybody, this is Rob Swatsky from the York Campus of Hack, and welcome back to my Biology 121 Anatomy and Physiology 1 course. This is podcast 2.2b, Chemical Bonds, Covalent Bonds. Covalent bonds are the most common type of chemical bond found in the body and make up most of its molecules. Covalent bonds form when pairs of valence electrons are shared between two or more atoms. The atoms can be of the same or different elements. One, two, or three pairs of valence electrons can be shared in a covalent bond. Covalent bonds are stronger than ionic bonds. With the more electron pair shared, the stronger the bond. When pairs of valence electrons are shared between atoms, the valence shells of both atoms are filled at least part of the time. Covalent bonds are named based upon the number of electron pairs they share. A single covalent bond forms when two atoms share one pair of electrons. An example of a molecule held together by a single covalent bond is hydrogen gas with the molecular formula of H2. A molecular formula is a convenient abbreviation for a molecule, but it doesn't tell us anything about the type of bonds holding the atoms together. This is where structural formulas come in handy. In a structural formula, we can represent covalent bonds by including straight line dashes between the chemical symbols for the atoms. Each dash represents one shared pair of electrons. The structural formula for hydrogen gas is H-H with one dash between the hydrogen atoms representing the single covalent bond. A double covalent bond forms when two atoms share two pairs of electrons. An example of a molecule held together by a double covalent bond is oxygen gas with a molecular formula of O2. The structural formula for oxygen gas is O-O, with two dashes between the oxygen atoms representing the double covalent bond. A triple covalent bond forms when two atoms share three pairs of electrons. An example of a molecule held together by a triple covalent bond is nitrogen gas with a molecular formula of N2. The structural formula for nitrogen gas is written with three dashes between the nitrogen atoms representing the triple covalent bond. Covalent bonds can form between atoms of the same or different elements. For example, a molecule of methane gas with the molecular formula CH4 contains a single covalent bond between the carbon atom and each of the four hydrogen atoms. An atom of carbon has six protons and six electrons. There are two electrons in its first electron shell and four electrons in its second valence electron shell. 
carbon can hold up to four more electrons in its second shell for a maximum of eight. An atom of hydrogen has one proton and one electron. Its single electron is placed in its first electron shell, which is also its valence shell. Hydrogen can hold a maximum of two electrons in its first shell. In the methane molecule's four single covalent bonds, each hydrogen atom is able to share one pair of electrons with the carbon atom. In covalent bonds, electrons can be shared equally or unequally between two atoms. A nonpolar covalent bond forms when two atoms share electrons equally. Both atoms have the same level of attraction for the shared electrons. The term nonpolar means that there is no electrical charge. Nonpolar covalent bonds often occur between the same atoms. The bonds formed between the atoms making up hydrogen gas, H2, oxygen gas, O2, and nitrogen gas, N2, are examples of nonpolar covalent bonds. A polar covalent bond forms when two atoms share electrons unequally. One atom attracts the shared electrons more strongly than the other atom. Polar covalent bonds always occur between different atoms. As a result of a polar covalent bond, the resulting molecule ends up having a partial negative charge near the atom with the stronger attraction for electrons and the other atom, or atoms, in the molecule will have a partial positive charge. The stronger attraction for electrons by one of the atoms is due to it having a greater electronegativity, which is a measure of an atom's ability to pull a shared pair of electrons toward itself. As an analogy, Think of atoms involved in a polar covalent bond as being in a tug of war, with the rope being the shared pair of electrons. The atom with the greater electronegativity will pull harder on the electrons than the atom with the lesser electronegativity. An example of a common polar covalent bond in living things is found between the oxygen and hydrogen atoms in a water molecule. The oxygen atom has a greater electronegativity compared to the hydrogen atoms and is therefore pulling harder on the shared electrons and ultimately wins the tug of war. Because of its victory, the oxygen end of the water molecule has a partial negative charge and the hydrogen end has a partial positive charge. The water molecule's polar covalent bonds and resulting separation of negative and positive charge classify it as a polar molecule. A polar molecule is also called a dipole because it has two poles, similar to a bar magnet having a positive and negative end. Because of this attraction for chemical substances having either a positive or negative charge, polar molecules such as water are excellent at dissolving a wide variety of molecules and ions. Thanks for watching and please feel free to contact me by email at rjswatsk at hack.edu if you have any questions or comments about the course.